Oh, there is no more Pernell Whitaker. There's no more Pernell no, Whitaker. That was big no more. Yeah, you distinguish that real quick. Let's make that clear. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Oscar De La Hoya, he just said about a week ago that Canelo Alvarez's next opponent is going to surprise people and it's going to be a really tough opponent. It's going to be a tough test for Canelo Alvarez. And then we find out today, according to Oscar De La Hoya and other reporters, that Caleb Smith and Billy Joe Saunders has turned down the Canelo Alvarez fight. Now, before I elaborate and get deeper into that, let me go ahead and thank everyone that reached out to me, everyone that responded to my request of a graphic designer to help me with the sign that I'm putting up for my sports bar slash restaurant slash hotel, if you will. I had a lot of graphic designers get back to me. So once again, I really appreciate that. And thanks to all you guys for helping me come up with a name. I had gave you guys a couple names that I was thinking about and some of the names you guys had even thought about. I ended up going with the main event. So that's the name of the hotel. It's the main event. These clips you guys were looking at just a minute ago, those were some before and after. Now this clip that I'm showing you right now, this is a more recent clip right here. As you guys see, this is the reception area, the lobby area. I'm still filling up the lobby area with chairs and tables. We're gonna have a pool table downstairs. We're gonna have all the TVs to watch the fights, the UFC, everything, basketball, football. But the rooms are already available. I've already rented all the rooms out. I got customers in there right now from all over the world. And one of my tenants, he actually lives here. He's from Las Vegas, one of my friends. I told him to come out here, checked it out. He fell in love with the country and he decided to move out here. He's a lot older, so he's retired. So it was perfect for him to come out here. And now he lives in my building. But you guys could check the rooms out on Hotels.com, Booking.com, Agoda.com, and even Airbnb. Just search the main event in Pattaya, Thailand, and it'll pop up. I've already had about five friends actually come out here from the States to stay over here in my hotel. So if you guys are interested, uh, like I said, you could either go to those websites or you could just email me at dantesboxingnation at gmail.com and let me know when you're planning on coming out here. Okay, with that out the way, let's go ahead and get back into this news. So once again, according to Eddie Hearn and Oscar De La Hoya, it has been confirmed Caleb Smith and uh, Billy Joe Saunders have turned down a Canelo offer, a Canelo fight offer, if you will. Now, Eddie Hearn, he came out, he said he didn't like the money or they didn't like the money that was offered to him when it comes to Caleb Smith. And then according to reports, Billy Joe Saunders, he wanted 12 million to fight Canelo Alvarez. So it sounds to me like they're still negotiating. We know that Canelo Alvarez, since he wants no parts of a Demetrius Andre, a Jamal Charlo, he already said he doesn't want to fight Gennady Golovkin the third time. And that's the only fight I agree with Canelo on. Golovkin does not deserve a third fight. With him fighting the likes of Steve Rose and every other cherry-picked opponent he can find, he doesn't deserve a third fight with Canelo Alvarez. The only ones that do deserve a fight are obviously Demetrius Andrade and Jamal Charlo. Now you got a lot of Canelo Alvarez fans that are thinking that, oh man, now that Canelo's fighting at 168, he's in the safe. He don't have to worry about those black bastards, Demetrius Andrade and Jamal Charlo trying to get in the ring with him. But no, you guys are sadly mistaken because Charlo and Demetrius Andrade have both said that they're willing to go up to 168 and fight Canelo Alvarez. So for you Canelo Alvarez fans that love posting stuff in the comment like, come on man, why do you have to bring up their names? I'm sick of hearing about Charlo and Andre. The Charlo and Andre problem will never go away until Canelo Alvarez gets in the ring with them or beat someone that actually just beat one of them. Beat the man that beat the man, in other words. So this is the reason why I truly believe that Canelo Alvarez and Golden Boy, they're gonna end up bending when it comes to negotiating with either Caleb Smith or BJ Saunders because they really have nowhere else to go. No one wants to watch the Ryota Murata fight. I mean, that would be a serious regression going all the way from Danny Jacobs down to Ryota Murata, someone that the majority of boxing fans hasn't even really heard of. And even if they've heard of him, the majority of fans haven't even watched too many of his fights. So Canelo Alvarez really doesn't have too many options outside of BJ Saunders and Caleb Smith. In terms of facing an opponent 
that he won't get backlash for. And you know, it's crazy because a lot of times when it comes to Canelo Alvarez, at least lately, fans are more eager and anticipated to find out who he's fighting than they are to watch the actual fight. I mean, cause that's where all the drama lies right there is finding out who Canelo is gonna face next. Let's see. I'm assuming we'll get an announcement within the next two to three weeks. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. But before I do, I wanna go ahead and plug my man's YouTube channel, Chuck P. Seville's Boxing. He has a new YouTube channel that he just started and he has some good shows on there. He has three shows. He has a main podcast that he does. It's called Knock the F Out. It's raw and uncut boxing news mixed with a little bit of comedy. But this podcast in particular, the Knock the F Out podcast, they do pre-fight prediction shows and after-party shows after the fight as well. Speaking of the pre-fight show, they're gonna do a real big pre-fight show for the Wilder versus Tyson Fury fight, February 21st. You guys don't wanna miss it. So go ahead, man, and show that support. Subscribe to my man, Chuck P. Seville's Boxing. It's a real good boxing YouTube channel, guys. I'll put the link in the description box so you guys can see the actual trailer of his show. Check it out. Now, if you guys wanna advertise on my YouTube channel, if you want me to promote your new YouTube channel or you want me to promote anything that you guys are selling, or for you ladies out there, or you guys that have girlfriends that wanna be in my intro, if you guys wanna get more followers on Instagram or something like that, contact me at Dante's Boxing Nation because I can tell you right now, a lot of the girls that I put on my intro, it helped out their Instagram tremendously. But obviously, if you wanna do the intro, you gotta look the part. We're not gonna have Precious doing the intro. So once again, if you guys are interested, go ahead and contact me at Dante's Boxing Nation at gmail.com. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.